We start at the White House, where the focus is on China and their growing aggression in the South China Sea. Today, in a first-of-its-kind meeting, a trilateral summit between the U.S., Japan, and the Philippines. This comes as tensions in the Pacific are reaching a boiling point. In March, the Chinese Coast Guard fired water cannons at a Filipino ship, injuring sailors on board. Tom Dempsey is at the White House. And Tom, how much of today's meeting will focus on not only China aggression, but the threat that China poses? Hey, good morning, Nick. Yeah, the first ever trilateral summit between the United States, Japan, and the Philippines kicks off in a few hours here at the White House, and the rising tension with China expects to be a very big focal point of it all. In fact, the president of the Philippines has already come out saying recent run-ins with Chinese forces in the South China Sea will be part of these discussions. A big goal of the summit happening here at the White House will be on boosting security and economic ties with both Japan and the Philippines, including more military training activities with the three sides and patrolling of waters in the region. With ongoing tension, though, between the United States and China, President Joe Biden has really had to tiptoe around the situation recently, highlighting both productive conversations with Chinese President Xi Jinping as well as a growing alliance with Japan. Take a listen. It's a defensive alliance, and the things we discuss today improve our cooperation and our and are purely about defense and readiness. It's not aimed at any one nation or a threat to the region, and it, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with conflict. And uh, so this is about restoring stability in the region, and I think we have a chance of doing that. Now, part of the tension in Asia comes because of incidents like this one, video showing the Chinese Coast Guard threatening a boat from the Philippines and using a water cannon during an incident in the South China Sea. China claims the sea as its own. Uh, Taiwan also remains a very big concern right now, with China saying just this week that no force can stop reunification. Also part of the uh, events today, the Japanese prime minister will be uh, doing a joint address to Congress, likely highlighting the importance of the relationship between the United States and Japan. Nick. Tom Dempsey live at the White House this morning. Tom, thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.